A coalition to protect garment workers marched from the fashion district this morning to City Hall. The group rallied against a community plan that they say threatens the fashion industry. It's called the DTLA 2040 Community Plan. This represents just the power of workers saying no. We won't be ignored. We are the backbone of this industry. You can't produce a garment without us. And they're saying and there's no fashion district without us garment workers. The plan proposes to relocate factories and turn buildings into apartments over the next 20 years. Protesters say they are fighting to preserve the neighborhood, protect their jobs, and push city leaders to create job opportunities. We're not saying no to all development. What we're saying is that development has to consider us. So that means we're coming back, right? We'll be back here. We're going to be in City Hall. We're going to be bringing our message and our voice. In downtown LA alone, the fashion district is home to more than 20,000 garment workers. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the garment workers you see behind me were part of the essential workforce, making millions of face masks for frontline workers. But now the 2040 community plan is pushing them out and threatening their essential income. Often making less than minimum wage, um, many workers you know, are, are barely getting by even with minimum wage salaries. If they were to lose their jobs or have to travel further away, um, they, that means you know, they can't pay rent or they spend less time with their family. I think it's going to be really hard for the garment workers because mainly all of them really depend on the garment industry and it's all located here in downtown Los Angeles. The coalition plans to meet members of the Planning and Land Use Committee at City Hall next week. And on May 12th, the City Council will be voting on the plan to turn garment factories into apartments. For Annenberg Media, I'm Tracy Wang.